welcome now to our first debate in diabetes. And today we are posing the question about technology and what should be the global priority, innovation or access. Here to weigh each angle is Dr. Apoorva Gomber and Dr. Ryan Lal. Thanks you both for your time today. Thank you. All right, Dr. Lal, first question to you. Where should our focus be? So I would like to first state that uh, my assigned topic was innovation. So I must, uh, must start with that. Um, however, I think in general, this is really more of a false dichotomy. Um, it turns out that because of processes in place in sort of a capitalist environment, most innovation ends up being cheap to manufacture and then sold for large margins. So as a result of that, uh, we actually don't necessarily need to limit access because most of the innovation we see is cheap. So as a result, uh, I think that we must continue to innovate, but forces will hopefully put us in a place where it is accessible uh, at a cost perspective. That doesn't mean that what it's sold for enables access by any means. Dr. Gomber, you say without access, I really, what's the point of innovation? Um, I would still say that <laughs> because, uh, and I think we'll, we'll go deeper today in our session also about why we both stand with access also, but while also standing with innovation, they're not mutually exclusive for sure. Uh, we can say they're interdependent, very nicely interdependent. Um, without access, I think uh, we're just doing, we just put it, adding failure into our work because we know diabetes is not just about giving the tools to people, but also making sure it's thinking about the systems that are around them, the social determinants, the health equity piece, and access, the word access in itself is so deep if you break it down. It has to be like, it has to be affordable, it has to be also who are the actors involved in that space, and also making sure that if we are innovating, everybody should have the same right, which, which we should. It's, it's about human dignity, right? So if we can actually innovate, making sure that everybody gets the same quality care, irrespective of where they are born or where they basically belong. Uh, so I think that's what we, would be my take on access. So to go a little bit deeper in that, how big of a problem would you say access to innovation or to technology, how big of a problem is this? I think it's a big problem. Uh, we, are, we definitely live in a very disconnected world. Um, I, so my, I'm originally from India and for, for years, like I didn't have access to an insulin pump. Wow. Just because I moved my location to a new place where I had a basket of resources to choose from. And that clearly shows that just because someone changed their location, I had insurance coverage, things changed for me. Now I'm at a position I can make the choices for my own care and that's power. Right. So definitely, if we have to think about power, Access is equally important there. Who has the power to give it to you? We have to figure that out. And I'm sure innovation will drive us towards, definitely we have to honor the fact that we've come a long way, um, but also making sure everybody deserves the same quality care they should, they should get. Dr. Lal, you're kind of nodding along there. You agree that really without access, innovation is kind of a moot point. Like, like Purva, I, I had the fortune, my parents are first generation from India, okay. and I had the luck of being born here. Okay. So I was born into socioeconomic privilege, which allowed me to always get the best tools. So I've been, you know, using pumps since uh, the, the early 1990s. Um, and every step along the way, what innovation has really brought me is making the step size easier to get to the goals that we're after. So I, I see innovation uh, as a way of helping the socioeconomically privileged make the work less, but really helping those who need the access, who need these tools, uh, reach the goals that we're trying to get for everybody. And I think the reality is that who does the technology help the most? The people who have it the hardest. So we really have to focus on making sure that innovation exists, but it's getting into the hands of the people who need it the most. Great point. Final question to you both, your final thoughts. The path forward is, Dr. Gomber? I think the path forward is difficult, 
it takes courage, it takes a lot of hands on deck to make it happen. And I think uh, ADA is doing a lot of work in health equity. Dr. Rehan's doing a lot of work from Stanford around addressing the social determinants. I just want to say to everyone and urge everyone that it was, it's going to be a difficult path, but we definitely need all hands on deck to make this happen because everyone does hold some kind of power to move the dynamics around, making sure access is available to everybody. Great point. Dr. Lal? So I think we currently exist in an environment where the dollar is worth more than a human life. And that's, that is a fundamental issue right now. We, we, we no longer have, uh, have a system where human life is the most precious. It's profits. And as long as profits are driving our decision making around the preservation of human life, we will fail. So until we make that tough decision, as Apurva has alluded to, uh, we, are, we, are, we are merely going to make more toys for the rich. Quite a heavy debate topic, and we certainly thank you both for your uh, perspectives today. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for having us.